Okay, so today we're going to create a optical illusion. I'm calling it ugh, pull paper. So basically, we're going to make it look like we're pulling curtains back and seeing a pretty vibrant um, cityscape. So first, you're going to need either markers or, um, well, you will need a marker. You'll need a marker, some um, watercolor. If you don't have watercolor, that's okay. You can just use markers um, and a pencil. So first, we're going to sketch out our curtains. And you're going to kind of want to um, make it look like you're pulling it back. So here I'm going to draw some squigglies so I can place my fingers here and my fingers here and make it look like we are <clears throat> pulling back curtains. Now from here, we're going to um, kind of go along this uh, line that we've created to make the rumples or the ruffles in our curtain. And these lines will help us um, create that illusion of pulling back the curtain. Okay, so I'm going to take my marker. Um, you can use whatever color marker. I kind of want my um, curtains to just be simple and plain. You can color your marker your your curtains whatever color you want but I'm just using a simple black marker to outline the lines that I've made and we're gonna start kind of like when we did that um hand optical illusion, you just make those curves at every um, line. To make it look like the curtain is rumpled up. And you can make big stripes, you make little stripes. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. And if you want, you want to try and um, line it up with the lines that you made so it looks like a continuous stripes for your curtains.
So to emphasize the illusion, you're going to want to shade um, with your pencil. So the same deal that I always tell y'all, use the side of your pencil and um, move your pencil really quickly. Hold it kind of back. So that it's easier to shade. Maybe some creases are a little bit darker than others because they're more in shadow. Maybe certain areas of one crease is a little bit darker than the other because the crease is deeper. If you need to go over that line to make it darker, use the tip of your pencil, but when you're shading, use the side. And you can do this with colored pencils. I'm just keeping mine simple with um, a regular old pencil and black and white um, curtains, but you can color over this maybe. Um, with like markers, if you were to color over this with marker, it would still show the, um, shading that you did so don't worry about that but I would choose lighter colors like yellow or orange because darker colors like blue or purple might cover up the really nice shading that you did and you don't want to lose any progress on your drawing just because you tried to color that in. So I'm just going to shade a little bit here. Just show that my curtains are opening. And you really only need to shade like one side to get that effect of um, the ripples in your curtains.
and if you accidentally go over or too far with it you can always erase so that's one good thing about working with um, a regular pencil.